Um, Rob, there. Fun- speaking of funny, uh, it, the, watching the Patriots play has been no laughing matter. It's been downright ugly. All right, as you would say, fugly. Fugly for people. Look it up. Fugly. All right. Gosh, two and eight and getting bludgeoned. But anyway, uh, that's led many people to think that Bill Belichick will not be the coach of the Patriots next year. Not so much a firing, although there are obviously those throwing that out as well. But maybe a mutual parting of the ways is what people are saying. And Rob, longtime NFL writer Gary Myers, who is a friend of the show. He's been on the show. I work with Gary at the Daily News in New York, Chris. When I broke in, Gary was the NFL columnist at yeah. the Daily News. Yep. And he, he, covered, uh, he was covering when Je- uh, Belichick was the Giants defensive coordinator. Absolutely. Yep. And so he wrote this on Twitter, Rob. One of my well-placed sources – believes the Chargers are the favorites for Bill Belichick in 2024. Excellent QB, team ready to win. Belichick likes California and the beach. Who does he, go, he goes on. Not only does Belichick need 18 more victories to pass Don Shula as the all-time winningest coach, but I imagine winning a Super Bowl without Tom Brady after Brady won one without him is very, very high on his to-do list. He, Myers also said his sources shut down the idea of, which these are kind of just thrown out there, far-fetched it seems, Belichick going to either the Cowboys or the Giants. Uh, Rob, what are your thoughts? I mean, you would think that the Chargers would be uh, prime. It just depends. I mean, uh, Brandon Staley wasn't fired, Chris, after uh, – Losing a twenty-seven to nothing lead in the playoffs, so I don't know if somebody just loves him there. I, I I don't know what he has on them or whatever the situation is. Because what are they now? Five and four or five, four and five, and it, it, you know they might there have not been make the ten playoffs. moments in in Staley's career where you were like, oh, he should get fired. For right, exactly, and and he hasn't been fired. But if he if he does get fired, obviously that would make sense. And sometimes you you make a move because you think one coach can do more and get you to where you want to go. They're, they have so many playmakers on defense, Chris. We talk about it. They have a, a, a franchise-type quarterback who has sometimes not played up to par but has that ability. We know he does. He We've seen it. Generally plays well, yeah. He's right, but sometimes there are moments where, where, you know, against Dallas, he had two picks, Chris, in that game at the end. You know, like – there are moments where you scratch your head and think he should be playing better. But anyway, uh, sure, are they viable? I would see them as viable. I think, Rob, they make the most sense of just about any team in the league. Because, you know, there's been talk about him going to Washington, and he probably could, but Sam Howell's been okay. He's been good at times, been really good, but Justin Herbert's obviously better. And, Rob, I think the – the Belichick is a defensive coach, darn near defensive genius. And their biggest problem with the Chargers has been Staley's bad play calling and decision making and their defense. And they've been at the bottom of the league in defense uh, since Staley's gotten there. And they were a top 10 defense the three previous years before Staley was there. They already have a great quarterback and, Rob, a, an offensive peep, uh, coordinator that's well-respected in Kellen Moore. So if I'm the Chargers, I'm like, Bill, come here and fix our defense. Let Kellen handle the offense. We've got that covered. Fix our defense. And if he could do that, Rob, they would be awfully dangerous. Awfully dangerous. So that makes a ton of sense to me. If I'm the Chargers, I do not want to hire him as my GM. I want to hire him strictly as my coach. And I don't really want him. This is the thing with, like, New England. You know, they might have the number one pick in the draft as far as for all we know. I don't want Belichick kind of – Having the 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 
my new quarterback, my young rookie quarterback, I don't really want him in Belichick's hands. I'd rather just have Bill be in a situation where he's already got a proven quarterback and just let him go to work. Yeah, um, I, good luck. In, in, well, the only thing I want to push back on is Bill Belichick taking other coaches uh, that were in the previous regime or or that he's not familiar or comfortable with. I just – most coaches, Chris, just aren't going to buy into that. And I know Kellen Moore is highly regarded, and I hear all the stuff you're saying. Most coaches just a, – a, So you think he'd want to bring in – I mean, Josh McDaniel's been with him a long time. Bill there O'Brien. There you go, and he's got he's – got, he's See, I, I'm like, why should I take you – when y'all two and eight, why should I take all these guys? No, I, I get I'm what just, Josh McDaniels did I, with Tom Brady. I'm just Brady. saying, like as a GM. No, I hear pro- you. I mean, as a coach, you get you get what I'm right. saying, Chris. Like, like no, you, you're not planning a spy in my. You know what I mean? Like, uh, well, I wouldn't even. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't even look at it as a spy. No, no, no. I, but that's, I, but I hear you. Yeah, a lot of most coaches want, and especially a guy like Belichick, who he wants got his own guys in the world. Yeah, to, to me, honestly, Rob, I'm going to be honest. If I were the Chargers or any team for that matter, and or let me just put it in the Chargers, use them. Because, again, I do think that Kellen Moore is a good defense or offensive coordinator. And I'm looking at Bill O'Brien, who hadn't been able to do anything with Mac Jones. He's actually gotten worse than he was with Matt Patricia, Rob, believe it or not. I'm looking at... You know, Josh McDaniels, who, yes, was a very good coordinator and obviously won all those Super Bowls with Tom Brady. But looking at the things he's done recently with the Raiders, no. And so if I'm the Chargers, and I get it, Belichick has earned the right and certainly has the clout to make demands. But I own the team, and I'm going to make some demands too. I We want to, we got to keep Kellen Moore as the offensive coordinator. And if Bill can't I, I go think with that, a, I'll I go think, get another good coach. Yeah, I think that's a deal breaker. I really do. And and like like that might be the question that we pitch out to people. You know, Chris, you say you wouldn't hire him. Not you if I have if, to if, get if, rid if you have to right if you have get to get rid of, rid of Kellen Moore. And then I, I guess I'm wondering if where other people are because I, I if if I really want Bill Belichick, then I have to believe in what he's done. For those six Super Bowls, despite what's happened, despite Mac Jones and the talent that he has or doesn't have, Chris, and I have to believe in Bill Belichick. Otherwise, if you don't, then why are you hiring him if you don't believe in, in, in what right. he can do? Uh, I'd you, be, that, that's I'd a be dilemma. Hiring him, yeah, I'd be hiring him to fix my culture and run the defense. Well, but even uh, though but, he's the head coach, I'm just that's what I would be doing. And I'm gonna be honest. Bill Belichick hasn't done enough without Tom Brady for me to bend over backwards to hire him. He just, not me. And he's 71 years old? No. 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 I saw you in Cleveland without the great Tom Brady. I wasn't impressed. I've seen you in New England without the great Tom Brady. I'm not impressed. So I'm not why are you hiring away him? Because he's great defensively. And that's what we need. If You know, I'm speaking like I'm running the Chargers. That's what I need. That's what I'm saying. Leave leave Kellen Moore and Justin Herbert alone. And if you can't do that, then go get another job. Go to Washington. Go somewhere else. But you're not coming here. I, I really feel that way. And I, I'm not saying you talk to him like that. You respect him. But that would be my feeling. Because there, there are a lot of guys. Now, you, you know, be unproven guys. There's some unproven guys you don't know if they're going to be great. Right? Ben Johnson, a lot of people. Now, he's offensive coach, so you pro, you presumably be looking for a defensive coach, right, if you're the Chargers. Um, or I don't know if they want to promote Kellen Moore to that, but to the head coach. But, you know, obviously Eric Bieniemy, another offensive coach. But, you know, maybe you go get a defense, another defensive coach. But that, that would be my feeling, Rob. But you're right. I, I agree that. It's certainly plausible that Belichick will want his own people. That You make all sense. But look at his own people. His old guys that have been with him that went elsewhere and failed. Patricia, Judge, his sons. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, he might want GM duties too, Rob. You going to give him that? 
Um, no, I mean, I, I would hire him as a coach. Now, I can't say, okay, come and you can't be the GM and you can't have your own offensive coordinator and I got to pick well, your video guy. those are two guy. different things. Hold no, on. But, I'm, but I'm just GM saying. GM and like, coach and well, you but, know, picking your staff, those are different things. But but I'm just saying, if I'm saying I want to hire you as coach, you got to allow him to pick his 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 offensive coordinator. I just I I do not know. I just he think says, you talk about that with him. But you could say we like what Kellen Moore's doing, and uh, he's a part of, and 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 Justin Herbert has bought into what he's doing. Hey, Bill, let us show you how much he's improved under. Do you do you see what I'm saying? Like, well, I, but I also think is what do you think? I mean, what would you want to and, keep and, Kellen? Because we want to keep Kellen. I mean, what do you think? Like, I, I'm the boss. As great as Bill Belichick is, and as much as he's done, I'm the boss. I what do would you keep Kellen? Yeah, no, I don't have to it, beat around it, the bush. It it wouldn't go. It wouldn't. That wouldn't be. That just would rub him the wrong way. It would be well, I mean, like I, again. I'm I would not lay. Saying I would lay the, the groundwork. I would lay the groundwork about what he's done, Chris, and that Herbert has worked well right, with him. Right, agree. And I but would I, say... But I would go as far as to say we would like to keep him. We're, and What do you think about that, Bill? Would, I would ask would you him, what there? does he think of Kellen Moore? And then I would say, uh, when, you, when you make your decision, I would hope that you would consider retaining him and at least interview him. Do you, do you see what I'm saying, Chris? I do, but I don't agree. For the job. Is that okay? Now, again, right. there are other good offensive coordinators. So if Bill said had a good one in mind, but if he come in with Bill O'Brien, like I'm not hiring him not knowing who he's going to bring in as the OC because he might bring in Matt Patricia. He might bring in Bill O'Brien, who, who has been good. I don't want to act like he hasn't been good, but he hasn't been good this year. You know, so – but I'm just saying, Rob, I, I would not take that approach. I would, like you know, say be my tone of voice would be respectful. I would, you're right, lay the groundwork. Hey, Kellen's done some great things. Let's watch some film. Justin and him are really vibing. They're clicking. We really like Kellen. Honestly, Bill, we, we want to keep him as the offensive right. coordinator. But, but it have to what be are your a, thoughts a, on that? Right. Now, it, but if he was like, well, you, you know, I'd like to hire my own guy. I can't stand that, that dude. No, right. I don't if know. If he said I'll, that, Chris, would I, you would you would you uh, just x him out and say, okay, forget it? Well, look, I will say this: I'm not like uh, Kellen Moore is all this and all that. You know what I'm saying? I just do think he's a good offensive mind. And if Bill again had, like, if Bill was like, well, I, I actually like Eric B. Enemy, I'm willing to listen to that. You know what I'm saying, Rob? I'm just saying I'm not trying to hire you and you bring in Matt Patricia, Bill O'Brien, and maybe even Josh McDaniels again. I, you know, I think I want to move on from all that old Patriot stuff with all your old guys and your sons and all that, and I'd like to keep, keep so a guy So basically like you say, him. Bill, no nepotism, so don't bring your boys with you, and then we're going to hire your offensive coordinator, and we're going to have the GM, and, we, and that's it. Are you interested in the job? And Bill would look silently <laughs> and go like, "That's Washington on line one." There you go. <laughs>